الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله وأعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه وخليله وخيرته من خلقه صلوات ربي وسلامه عليه وعلى الآل والصحب الكرام أما بعد فاتقوا الله عباد الله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس قد جاءتكم موعظة من ربكم وشفاء لما في الصدور وهدى ورحمة للمؤمنين اتقوا الله تبارك وتعالى فإن من اتقى الله وقاه My beloved brothers and sisters in Islam It is indeed important for us to be conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And that is the advice that I commence with for myself and yourselves Whatever we do we must be conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala For indeed every one of us is going to be answerable to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He will question us about everything. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guiding us towards this beautiful path of accountability. I mean, today I have a very powerful yet simple piece of advice or a reminder for myself and yourselves. Many of us understand the importance of the Quran. We know that it is the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We know the power of the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We also know that there are verses in the Quran. If we were to read them every morning and evening, we would be protected from the evil of the unseen, from the shayateen and the jinn kind, etc. These are known as Al-Mu'awwidat, those surahs at the end of the Qur'an that we would read, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from that which is evil from His creation. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us protection. We also know the power of Ayatul Kursi, which is a verse in Surah Al-Baqarah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept in a lot of power and we understand its virtue and its value as per the explanation of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But my brothers and sisters, we are guilty of not reciting the Quran enough on a daily basis. That is something we need to change. Ask yourselves today, how much recitation or what we would term tilawa of the Quran have I engaged in today? A lot of us may be thinking perhaps I read Surah Al-Kahf because it is a Friday. I'm speaking of the daily portion of the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most powerful word in existence without dispute the most powerful book in existence, a gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to and we must set aside a time every single day. And this is a powerful encouragement to read, to recite the Quran, to improve our relationship with this book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Many of us think, okay, I know the rules and regulations of the deen, so it's not absolutely necessary for me to engage in tilawa. Tilawa here, I'm referring to recitation in the Arabic language. Wallahi, it is a duty of ours to, to make sure that we try our best to learn the Arabic words and to be able to try and recite it and to correct that recitation and to beautify it as well. It's not good enough to only know the correct pronunciation without trying to beautify the Quran. When the instruction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, وَرَتِّلِ الْقُرْآنَ تَرْتِيلًا And you should intonate 
the Quran, when reciting it, a beautiful intonation. You should make sure that when you read the Quran, it is not just like you're reading an ordinary book, but rather you are in the condition of purity. And at the same time, you are sitting with utmost respect, wearing clothing that, are, that is considered decent. And you have the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning the mushaf in front of you, or even if you are reading it off by heart, but you sit and you concentrate. If you want to achieve Achieve the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I'm sure every one of us wants to achieve the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then Allah has shown you the ingredient Allah has shown you one of the ways when the Quran is being read give it importance listen to this وَإِذَا قُرِئَ الْقُرْآنُ فَاسْتَمِعُوا لَهُ وَأَنصِتُوا لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ When the Quran is being read, then you should listen attentively. Make sure that you are listening quietly and attentively in order for you to achieve the mercy of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. The question I have is, if we would be achieving the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just by listening attentively to his words, what do you think we will be achieving by attempting to read them ourselves? What do you think we will achieve by trying to read the Quran ourselves and recite it melodiously? Some people are shy or they are ashamed of trying to intonate the verses of the Quran. So rather than myself saying, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, which is good. I can be better than that by saying, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Notice the difference in intonation. It adds value. It adds spirituality to the powerful words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers, my sisters, I encourage you a very, very strong encouragement to do more to read this Quran correctly, to be able to recite it in a beautiful manner. Understanding that, please, my brothers and sisters, set aside a time on a daily basis to recite the Quran. Open the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or utilize the application on your phone. It is more blessed to use the mushaf in terms of the book because of the rules and regulations pertaining to purity when it comes to that book. But it is permissible to read it from your phone as well. We have no excuse. All of us have this application. We have it on our phones. How many of us make use of it on a daily basis? Whereas it is more important than Facebook and WhatsApp and Twitter and anything else. That is the word of Allah. But we spend less time with it. Do not let a day pass. As a Muslim, as a mu'min who wants solutions to the problems he or she is facing, never let a day pass without having read the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as part of your daily routine, my brothers and sisters. I hope these words of encouragement can be powerful enough to move us to do this. The verse that I read at the beginning of this khutbah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسُ قَدْ جَاءَتْكُمْ مَوْعِظَةٌ مِّنْ رَبِّكُمْ وَشِفَاءٌ لِمَا فِي الصُّدُورِ O oh people, and this is referring to the Qur'an, O oh people, indeed, a reminder has come to you from your Lord. So you will achieve all the reminders in that book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And cure for the diseases of the heart. Cure for that which lies in the bosoms and the chests. Don't you want cure? Don't you want purification? Well, there is the word of Allah. Allah says, O oh people, not just for the Muslimin, but obviously if you claim to be a mu'min and a Muslim, your relationship with the Quran will definitely be more powerful. So what do you need to do? Allah says, this has come to you. In it, there is guidance, there is a reminder. In it, there is cure for your diseases, your sicknesses, for that which lies in the bosom. And at the same time, Allah says, In it, there is guidance and mercy for those who believe. Mercy will now be achieved by those who believe 
in the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has explained to us in so many ahadith, inna allaha la yarfa'u bihadha al-kitabi aqwaman wa yada'u bihi akhareen. In another narration he says, al-Qur'anu hujjatul laka aw alayk. On the day of judgment, the Qur'an will bear witness for you or against you. There were so many all over. Did we fulfill the right of the Quran? Yes, it is absolutely important to try and understand the verses of the Quran. We know that we don't deny that. But today I want to spend a moment to tell ourselves and remind ourselves about the other duty as well. And that is the recitation. And this is why the other hadith that I just mentioned right now, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Allah through the Quran raises certain people and through the same Quran drops down certain people. May we be from among those who have been raised. My brothers, my sisters understand that this word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is such that if you don't serve it, then you will be lost. You will be lost completely because Allah says in it there is guidance. Try your best to understand this word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. كتاب أنزلناه إليك مبارك ليدبروا آيات وليذكر أولو الألباب. This is a book that has been revealed to you in order that you may ponder deeply over its verses and that it can be a reminder for those with sound minds. Subhanallah. You want this book? as a reminder for yourself if you're a believer. So therefore, the second duty, the next duty that we do have for this particular book is that we try our best to understand what is in it. My brothers and sisters, we are failing when it comes to our duty towards the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I want to remind myself and yourselves that when we speak about the importance of the Quran, it does not mean that we do not believe in the Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because when you read the Quran and you understand it carefully, you understand it correctly, Wallahi, it will lead you to the Sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There are people who may tell you, this is the book of Allah. That's it, I believe it. As for the Sunnah, I would like to divorce myself from it. Remember, the person would remove themselves from the fold of being a follower of Muhammad. You say you follow the man, but you discard all his statements. The same man who brought you the Quran, do you think his statements were void of value? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us. My brothers, my sisters, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this beautiful day to bless the ummah, to grant ease to those who are struggling and suffering across the globe. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم